A man who came to North Texas to escape danger and find opportunity and safety for his family is in need of some help tonight. He's a native of Afghanistan and has been the target of death threats because of his work as an interpreter for the United States military. Fox 4's Diana Zoga has the story. Far from my country, mom, brothers, no one's with me. From his hospital bed at the medical center of Plano, 32-year-old Abdul Samad once again finds himself worrying about the fate of his wife and four kids less than a year after leaving Afghanistan. I was going to receive a call in my phone that I know what you are, which kind of weapon you carry, and what's your job with American. I'll find you, and I'll find your family also. Samad and his family came to the U.S. 10 months ago under a special immigrant visa program for Afghanis who faced death threats while working with the U.S. military. Samad got a job as a security guard in Plano and was on his way to work Monday when Richardson police say a truck swerved out of the HOV lane on Highway 75 and into the side of Samad's minivan. When I opened my eyes, I was in the hospital. Seriously injuring Samad, the sole provider for his family that's already been through much hardship. And unfortunately what happens is as our government and our troops, um, our military begin to pull out, they've allied with the United States and now they're no longer safe and they're targets in their own country. Refugee Services of Texas helped the Samad settle in Dallas last fall. Aside from new Afghani friends in North Texas, they have no other family around. Samad's wife is taking English lessons, but doesn't know enough to get by. She and their kids relied on Samad, who even in his current state is anxious to get back to work. My hope is a good education for my kids. That's all I need. That's all I want. That's what you're working towards. Yes, because my time is already passed. I can keep following my education because four kids and one wife, so I have to take care of them. Diana Zoga, Fox 4 News.